I'm starting today's video out with my two dogs, Dora and Winky. This is their stash. Um, we live out in the country and you can see all the, you can see their antlers and their bones and Winky just took one up to there and she's chewing on it behind the tree. This is their stash over here. So I thought you'd enjoy seeing that. So what am I going to talk about today? We're going to talk about four habits that you can start this year in 2022 and become more Amish. I have always loved the Amish lifestyle, how it's very simple. And you kind of dream about it like, oh, it's so cool. But, you know, the more that I've been doing my YouTube channel and making videos and really learning, um, getting to know them in depth from my neighbors, I'm starting to realize um, some of the habits that they have wouldn't be bad for us to adopt. So I came up with four that I am going to be better at during this next year. So I thought I would share them with you because it is possible. Um, you can pick one or none, it's up to you. But as I share, I'm also gonna give the Bible verses that the Amish use to justify some of their behavior. Um, they're very, very religious and they do believe that uh, God is very important in their life and they do read the Bible and honor the scripture. So number one, we all have heard this, I envy our young minimalists um, in the United States here um, because they have got it. They realize they don't need a lot of things and the Amish are like that. They only have what they need. They're very simple and everything they own is pretty much stuff that they need. Um, I have really been convicted of this um, in the past year my mother is 88 and she's getting ready to move in with us and it started out that I started cleaning through my stuff just to make room for her and I'm realizing like why do I have some of this stuff and I think it's a generational thing um, so if you're probably under 40 you probably don't have a problem it's, it, I just noticed that that generation doesn't tend to keep on a hold of things like older people do and if you don't that's great but if you do it is hard to start and one of the things I recommend this is one thing that motivated me was because my mother was coming to move in but what if she wasn't um, maybe what you could do is plan a special event have some company over it could be family it could be a friend and just just plan something really special and it's going to make you maybe clean your living room or clean your kitchen or go through some cupboards or something but just start slow um clothes are a good thing i started making a habit of if i buy something new one new item two items had to come out of the closet now i've got it down so far that i don't do that anymore but that's how i slowly started minimal, minimalizing what I had and it's really been freeing so you can see the Bible verses come across the screen as I'm talking and it's definitely something that our Amish neighbors implement and it's something that we should too uh, to help just just you're, you're just free of your stuff you're not a slave to it number two is they have all their meals together now how many of you still sit down as a family and eat meals my husband and i started out in our marriage doing that for about eight years and then i noticed gradually we stopped um you know he's in front of the tv or i'm in front of my computer it's not good but that is definitely something I'm going to try to do at least once a day, um, again, because I loved it. We would sit and talk and um, we were together. And it's interesting, my husband, when he's worked for the Amish, um, he has hauled feed, they stop at one o'clock or 12 o'clock, 12 to one, and they need to go home and they have a meal with their family. So they even eat together for lunch if they can if they if they work near the home the woman definitely is in charge of meals men are usually in charge of feeding the animals and things outside it's kind of a the roles that they have but they definitely have their breakfast together their lunch and their dinner and i just made a video last week about breakfast and a typical amish breakfast so if you'd like to watch that video go ahead and watch that now um, i gave you some recipes as well Number three is a big one. These are all big. Um, be slow to anger. I, again, my husband has shared stories. He's been working for the Amish for a couple of years and he's just amazed at there's been times that as he's driving his truck and maybe br driving them to a drop site that maybe there was a reason that they could get mad, you know, at the person that they're trying to do a job for. And my husband has just been amazed at how they are very slow to anger. They they don't get angry. They hold it in. They, you know, it's not their problem. And, you know, he's been very impressed with how well that they are slow to anger. Um, he said he honestly hasn't even seen any of them that he's been um, working with ever get angry. Um, they're very, um, even with their children, the children seem to be, 
um, freer, they're disciplined, but it's not in an angry way. It's more in a friendly discipline. I don't know how to say it, but um, definitely slow to anger. Be slow to anger. And I think this one is really crucial this year because of how divided we're becoming in our country. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to use this as an example. You've got your divided um, platform politics and it's really hard each side wherever you stand it doesn't matter but you're so convicted and if somebody doesn't understand what you're saying or believe what you believe you want to get angry at them and um, we've all done it those of us who are really intense about what we believe and we don't we want to be slow to anger you've got to remember other people believe what they believe and they're convicted even if it's not what you believe whether it's right or wrong um, don't get angry at them that's not the way to handle it and last but not least it's god's will this has really been profound especially again in my husband's life um, i didn't realize so many of these were coming from things that um, he came home and talked about but when he started working for this one family a couple years ago uh, the young man that he drove that drove with him amish he had just lost his wife i mean literally like four days or within the week before and he was really surprised at how well the whole family handled it. Like there, there was no anger um, and, and they were just, um, it's God's will. You know, even though they were sad, um, she had just had a baby even. The baby was four days old when she passed away from complications. They, they really believe that everything is God's will and they just accept it. I'll never forget when I was visiting my mother in Indiana about six or seven years ago, she had a, a Mennonite family that would come, the, the father and the two sons, and they mowed her lawn and trimmed trees and things like that. And one day the teenage son came and said, well, my dad just got killed in a, an accident. He was on the tractor and it flipped and it killed him. Well, a couple months later, mom and I were having a yard sale and we were talking about it, like how sad. And this lady was there, she was Mennonite, and she came up and she said, that was my brother. And I was like, oh gosh, I felt horrible. And she said, and she just looked at me and she said, you know, it, it was God's will. I mean, just the, the peace that she had, it just really spoke to me that, you know, we all have a purpose in life. We all have a plan and when it's your time it's your time and and they really believe that and they have this real strong faith and peace within them um, because they believe that so those are the four things that i will definitely work harder on achieving and being stronger with and becoming more amish in their ways and hopefully i've inspired you as well to at least adopt one of those things and i wish you a wonderful new year and Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you heard something that really resonated with you. Leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video.